Hi, welcome to this tutorial on the magnitude or modulus of a vector. Now what I've got here is a typical set of axes x, y, z all at right angles to one another. Now suppose we had two points in space, say something like these. And let's suppose we had a vector that went from this point to this point. We'll call that vector the vector A. Let's say that vector A was 4i plus 3j plus 2k, where i, j and k are unit vectors in the x, y and z directions respectively. Or we could write it as a column vector 4, 3, 2. Now it's quite difficult to appreciate this vector. So let's just put a cuboid round it just to give it that kind of three-dimensional feel. So you can see that we've got here four units in the i direction, three units in the j direction, two units in the k direction, where i, j and k are parallel to these axes x, y and z. Now, okay, we had the displacement vector a between two points in space. It wouldn't matter where those two points were. As long as this vector a is 4, 3, 2, the magnitude is going to stay exactly the same, the length of this vector. It doesn't matter if it's a position vector starting at the origin or, as I say, a displacement vector anywhere in space. So what I'm going to show you is we'll just put it over here and we'll remove these axes. As I say, it doesn't matter where those axes are. So to get the magnitude of the vector A, we could start by labeling this cuboid O at this corner here. We'll call this point here A and this one B and this one C. And what we need to do is think of a right angle triangle on the base of our cuboid. OBC with the right angle here at C. Um, we can calculate the length OB by using Pythagoras' theorem. OB squared, the hypotenuse squared, is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So in other words, OC squared plus CB squared. Just write that in. Now that we've got OB squared, I can turn to a vertical triangle OAB. Let's put that in. And we can use Pythagoras' theorem here because OA is the hypotenuse of this vertical triangle OAB. So we know that OA squared is equal to OB squared plus BA squared. So we've got OB squared plus BA squared. Now I already know that OB squared is OC squared plus CB squared from this line above. So if I substitute that result into here, we therefore have that OA squared is equal to OC squared plus CB squared plus the BA squared. So that means that to get OA all we need to do is square root the sum of the squares of those sides OC squared plus CB squared plus BA squared. And so that means to get the length of a vector wherever it is in space all I need to do is square root the sum of the squares of the sides. So for this particular question if someone said to me work out the magnitude or length of A I would just simply say well okay that's no problem all I need to do is do the square root then of 4 squared plus 3 squared plus 2 squared. And what does that come to? 
16 plus 9 plus 4, that's going to be 29. So we've got the square root of 29. And the square root of 29 doesn't break down very easily. So I'll just leave it as root 29. You'll notice that I've not done a squiggly line underneath the A here because the magnitude of a vector is going to be a scalar quantity. So I don't want to put a squiggly line underneath this. However, I could do a squiggly line, but if I do that, we have another symbol for the magnitude of a vector. It's with two vertical lines either side of that vector. So if you put a squiggle in underneath your vector here, make sure you do magnitude lines here. Some people call this the modulus. So when people talk about the modulus of A, it's the same as the magnitude or length of A. So in general, if you've got a vector A, which is equal to xi plus yj plus zk, has components x, y, and z, then the magnitude of A is equal to the square root then of the sum of the squares of those components. Now I've got an example here which uses this idea, very common example, so I would definitely encourage you to have a look at this. And what we've got here is if A has coordinates 3, minus 5, 6 and B has coordinates 4, 1, 3, find the length AB. Now to do this I would suggest you draw a diagram. I get a lot of students who say I can't do, draw diagrams because I can't draw in three dimensions. That really doesn't matter at all. You don't have to draw in three dimensions. What you need to do is just put a point down for A, 3 minus 5, 6 A, put it there, put another point B somewhere else, anywhere you like, let's just put it here, B has coordinates 4, 1, 3. You need an origin, we'll just stick it over here. And so this is the vector O to A, we'll call it A if you like, and this is the vector B, O to B. Now, if we're going to find the length A to B, we need this vector across here, either A to B or B to A, because it won't matter because the length will be exactly the same whether we use A to B or B to A. I'm going to use A to B though. And we should realize now that the vector A to B is the same as going from A to O followed by O to B. A to O plus O to B. Or B, O to B minus O to A. And that's what we use. O to B minus O to A. A standard result. Now the vector O to B. We know the coordinates of B are 4, 1, 3, so the position vector would be 4, 1, 3. And then we need to subtract O to A, which would be this vector, and it would be 3, minus 5, 6. And if we work that out, what we've got is 4 take 3, which is 1, 1 minus minus 5, which is 6, and 3 minus 6 is minus 3. So that's the vector A to B. And we've seen that to get the magnitude of a vector, all we need to do is do the square root of the sum of the squares of the components. So the length AB is going to equal then the square root of 1 squared plus 6 squared. And here's the interesting point here as well. We've got minus 3. Minus 3, we've got to square. You could write it as minus 3 all squared if you like, but really we don't need the minus at all. We might as well forget about it because the minus is only just telling us it's a negative displacement. The length of that component is still going to be 3, so you might as well just write 3 squared. And if we work this out, we've got 1 plus 36 plus another 9 is going to be root 46. And that doesn't break down any further. So I'd leave it just like that, the root of 46. And you could write units for the length. Okay. Now 
You'll notice I've just written AB here, not as a vector. So you could leave it like that, or if you want to write it in the vector form, you must put lines down here for the magnitude. Okay? Well, I hope that's given you some idea then of how to find the magnitude or length of a vector. And that brings us now to the end of this tutorial.